Morning. There's a big pumps here. Radio's blaring away from down in the bottom of the lock chamber there. Remove it. Not for one minute. But there's the drill, that's the chisel, the drill bit's late. Morning. Welcome back to the channel. I thought this morning I'd jump in the car and nip over to Watford Locks and have a look at the winter works that's going on over there. We did Buckby Locks, which went down very, very well with you. Lots of you liked, lots of you subscribed, and I thank you very much for that. Once again, like and subscribe to this one. I hope we're going to find some interesting facts, but I'm going to jump in the car and whiz over there. So let's go and see what we can see. There we are at the top. Near the M1 rumbling in the background. See the stock banks are in. Lots of big pumps here. Lots of the shift the water out of flight. It's like some replacement of some paddle gear going on here. These are the bottom gates of the top lock. It's the paddle gear down there, look, being removed, it's either being repaired or replaced. It looks like here, if you can see all those points sticking up, we've all got what can I describe as grease nipples on the end of end of them. I believe that's where they're injecting some resin. To obviously reinforce beyond this walls, I imagine. They're drilling these tubes in. See these tubes here? Obviously drilling them right into the ground. There's the drill, well, that's the chisel, the drill bit's laid over there at the back. I'll show you that in a sec. Um, obviously that accesses the points where they want to inject to. There's the drill bit. I don't know what that's for. It's like some kind of kiln or furnace type thing. I'm sure someone will know. Drop us a comment, let us know. It looks like they've already done their um, bank injecting along here. You can see where they've been along uh, the side of this lock. And I dare say that was quite the equipment used. So probably was it warm the resin up or something like that. I don't know. Let's know if you know. Let's know. See, just oozing out the brickwork there. Some resin. Looks like spray foam to me, but that's obviously what's being injected. I wonder if they'll put this coping stone back in that's been set up on the side there all season when I've been through. Um, obviously, one missing. Can't see it in the bottom anywhere. And this is the bottom pound of the flight. I'm sure if you're local you recognise with the old lock keeper's cottage in the bottom there. Drained out. Old tyre sitting in the middle there. Probably a tyre that somebody's used as a side fender. Which I don't agree with and really shouldn't be done. You shouldn't have side fenders down when you're going along. Particularly through locks. Just jam up, rip off. Someone else comes along, gets them around their propeller and they're a hell of a job to get off. Right, we're at the bottom lock now. As you can probably hear, the radio's blaring away from down in the bottom of the lock chamber there. We've got the stock planks in. We've got the pump running. We're obviously taking the water away from down the flight. What we'll do, we'll stick the drain up in a minute. It's hard for me to get any nearer because of the um, Bent in and one thing or another, so I'll stick the drone up in a minute and we'll go overhead and have a look at a lot of things we just looked at, but hopefully we might get a better view of them. This is inside the lower lock of the flight, inside the chamber at the bottom here. That's obviously their walkway to get down, not far in there. Yeah, they've got a bit of debris in the bottom there to remove. I just stood down here by the stock plants, been a bit cheeky, I know. You can actually see there, if the camera picks it up all right, where the, the brickwork of the bottom of the lock has collapsed. I guess it's subsided underneath or something and it's dropped out. i stood right on the stock planks, as you can see. Um, but hopefully, they'll do something about that, I guess. I assume it's on the list of things to do. Yeah. It's interesting isn't it? Different view, one we don't see every day. This is their bag of, um, it looks like type 1 similar stuff, you know, road planings or something like that. I'm not sure. You normally use ash in the boatyards and one thing or another. 
you can see where they've been dropping it down there you just drop it down and the any gaps in the uh, stop planks just suck it in and, and plug the holes to stop the water leaking in as you can see by that lot there's not a lot coming through there so it's working doing a cracking job right then we stuck the drone up for a different view and you can see him clearing the debris in the bottom of this lot this is the lower lot which we were just looking at and I thought I'd give you a different view of approaching the lower lock from the upper side. You can see the culverts here on the left and the right. When you open the ground paddles up, the water runs in there and into the lock chamber to fill the lock up. And now we've spun round, heading up to the second lock in the flight. And you can see the debris in the water and the uh, broken brickwork and one thing and another. Just thought we'd have a look from a different angle. You never normally see this, so it's quite interesting. Right, let's have a look from above. And this is above the second lock up the flight. You can see the amount of fence work they've got each side of it here and a platform with a ladder down so they can get down into the bottom of the lock there to do their work. And uh, we're just going up to the pound there where the workboats are in the pound at the bottom of the staircase flight, which we'll go up and have a look at in a second. Right, here we are over the pound at the bottom of the staircase lock. You can see the workboats there, which I believe are probably their welfare units now, sitting on the mud, waiting to take the equipment away when the job's done. And there's the roving work barge with its crane, sitting in the bottom staircase lock. As we spin back around and have a look back down the flight, we go over the top of that work barge, it's sitting in the lower lock of the staircase, and it's got a pair of new gates in it. You can see the crane on there, which is a large high up type crane, obviously used for lifting the gates in and out, removing the old ones and lifting the new ones in. But yeah, they've certainly got the kit on the job here. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the staircase stoppage at Watford Locks. Just thought we'd spin back round now and just take a drone shot of the whole of the flight from the bottom heading up to the top. Please, if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, please click that subscribe button. It'll notify you when we next upload a video. And give us a thumbs up and like the video. And don't forget to comment. Always comment. We love to read your comments and we'll always come back to you. See you soon.